Hey folks, Dave the Not So Evil Evil Viking 13 here, and I am back with more Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone expansion pack. We have been recreating Iris von Everick's memories here in the painted dream world. We're trying to get to the root of what destroyed her marriage to um, Olgird. I think that this room will lead us to the last set of memories and hopefully answers. A large clay bowl. Small bowl. Small bowl. For soup, maybe. Claw scratches. Looks like she's wearing mourning clothes, possibly for her father, who Olgird killed. Let's put a large bowl down here. Got something wrong. Think this was yours. We also have a dish here and a glass. Single place setting. No others on the table. There we go. That makes sense. Those are the animals dishes. Food tray. Ladder. Hmm. Is this Wraith person serving? What on earth? It's the the gravekeeper. Perfect match. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same. As ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Before I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. Ooh. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgird. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Oh, goody. Trying to decide if I want to switch to coctions. This one's about to run out. Here we go. I can meditate. Maybe I can't. There we go. I'm hoping that that will give me my bombs back as well. Excellent. It did. Which decoction do I want to use? Increases the Witcher's resistance to vitality depleting critical effects applied during combat. Increases critical hit chance. Actions that consume stamina also give me back vitality. I'll go with that one.
Face Iris von Everick's greatest fear. My dearest wife, letters from old Geard to Iris, were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you wither. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, old Geard. Okay, it looks like they're not gonna all fight me at once at least. What is he spewing? Alright, let's get some water here. Who's next? That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Looks like we have another spewer here. Oh, okay, that's the heavy attack. Gotta watch for that. If he hits me with that heavy attack. I've got to block it. I can't try to dodge it. Oh, I tried to dodge it. Let's get another swallow going here in a minute. I'll do some Quinn too. Oh. Alright, block again. Come on. There we go. Another swallow, another water. Now we're on to the last one. Oh man. Come on, come on. There we go. Heavy attack. Man, okay, we got him. You're not him. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. <laughs> Carol looks terrifying. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. And I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. Hmm. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Uh, let's be honest. Your husband. Hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate. Because at heart, he's unhappy. At heart, he is stone. So nothing has changed. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much. But I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. Feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest. If I take the rose, you might cease to exist. As might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... there is nothing at all. I can't take the rose. Is it not what you came for? Can't force Iris into oblivion. Hmm. She thinks and feels still, and she's no danger to anyone but intruders. Look at her. Look at her world. She's doomed to relive the painful past eternally. Take the rose. Show her mercy. What should I do? What do you want me to do? 
I do not know what I want. I'm so very, very afraid. Something else is going on here. You too. You want me to take the rose, trying to convince me. Why? We want to help Iris von Everick. And you. Generous demons? I don't buy it. Because you are demons, right? You were to serve Iris until the end of her days. And didn't come with her death. So you were sentenced to stay in the world of her torment for all time. Can't break the contract yourselves. So you need me to do it for you. If I take the rose, Iris will cease to exist. But you'll also be freed. You're right. But are we wrong to want that? Our intentions are pure. <laughs> We're but bit players in this tragedy. A performance has gone on too long. We can't help the mistress, and her fate no longer moves us. Can we be blamed for simply wanting to leave the stage? Uh, fair point. I want to show mercy, but I just really feel like it's not my place. I won't decide your fate. I can't accept the rose. Will you leave empty-handed? What about your task? Rose stays with Iris. So that is how it's to be. Perhaps in the years to come, another will appear to free us. I don't know that you've chosen wisely. And though I feel no gratitude, I'll not send you away empty-handed. Look, the petal edges darken. The flower closes and I am overcome with sleep. Good night, stranger. You must leave. The rose awaits outside this world, while I... I descend once more into my dream of what was. Olgid, I wish to be with Olgid, to gaze into those eyes, eyes the devil would be proud to have. Farewell. changed. Got the violet rose there now. And Iris, ready to see her husband again. like we've taken the image of Iris from the painting with the rose. Hopefully that's enough. Our next task is to meet Olgird at the Alchemy Inn. And I don't want to terrify every single person that I come across, so There's the white honey. Let's clear off that decoction. Winds howling. And take a few honeycomb as well. Just to get my health back. Now how do I get out? Ah. 
The map lied. It's the hole in the fence. Well, guys, it's time to say farewell to the Von Everick Mansion and the incredibly sad story of Iris. I'm going to head back to town and make a few repairs. That's it, Roach. And then meet up with Olgird and see what's next. I'm really hoping that the rose and the painting will be enough, but we'll see. I'll catch up with you guys here in a few once we get to town. And we're back, guys, in Oxenfurt. And we're going to meet Olgir's man at the Alchemy Inn. I guess he's long gone then. Two pints, and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draught. Geralt, over here. Oi, wait your looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey, now. Don't make me beg. More treats. Ooh. What on earth is this guy? Show off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. Who are you really? Gauntero Dim, also known... Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief... I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grant their wishes. And drop them in a world of hurt. No, not I. That would be their poorly formulated wishes. <laughs> I'm no cheat. I give folk what they want, nothing more. That the oft desired unworthy things, that is entirely the fault of their rotten natures. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with Olgird. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw Olgird to the Temple of Ilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand.
That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. Oh. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my suit? I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness. Just one of my many qualities. You toss this fly in my suit? No. Now listen carefully. <laughs> Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <laughs> What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Aye. Got it. Hold that! Your friend. The medic. She were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. He was there, alive, a moment ago. Blind drunk he was. Maybe he fainted. Oh. Witcher in the ass. No wonder Viva Piper Radovi. dropped him. Cursed and exed. What a horrible death. Well, well we're well, definitely well, going to go drop in on Shani before we head to the temple. Packing up. Shani. Oh, Geralt. Good thing you're here. What happened? Somebody break in? This? Uh, no. Just getting ready to move. What? When? When? Where to? Uh, not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin bound. Never mentioned you'd be moving. Any intention to, either. I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn them down? Just say no? Uh, perhaps I could've. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. I understand. Any chance we'll see each other again? Someday, I'm sure. So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows it. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Pramathine Shakeslock, claims Olgird von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgird asked the Professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The Professor, where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. Hmm. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me. You know that. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. <laughs> Besides, we might run into a friend. Get inside free and easy. 
Yeah, I definitely want to know more. Uh, if this professor knows anything before I walk into this temple, I want to know who the Man of Mirrors actually is. If I can figure it out before he just tells me. So how are things at the Academy these days? You mean since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. They in the same bind? To Radovid, there's little difference between the two. Seems to tolerate you well enough. Because he needs me. For now. Such a nice so, the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. Did you ever hear of a hurting anyone? All right, guys, we're going to stop there for now. And in the next episode, we'll pick up with the investigation and hopefully a successful interview with this professor. I'll see you guys soon.